Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got more TF2 commentary. Playing as a sniper, rocking of course the Bizarre Bargain as my primary for a very obvious reason. This video will be about the Bizarre Bargain, hence that choice. On my secondary, of course, I'm using the SMG, the stock SMG that is. And on my melee, the Shan Shah. Um, this specific video will be a little bit more in depth or a little bit more about the facts initially about the bizarre bargain because in the past I think a few months ago even I touched upon this weapon a l you know a little bit lightly in a more opinionated approach and I kind of figured it would be kind of nice to actually see the stats or speak a little bit about the stats and go on from there so that said the bizarre bargain presents itself with a base charge rate decreased by 20% which is actually not that kind of a big deal, it's only 20% and of all the shots that I take in a match that are actually charged you, I don't even notice the, the debuff on this weapon because I try to take my shots fairly quickly I am not a quick scoper yet, I am way too slow even to be a quick scoper yet, but that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to quick scope as much as I can and that's how a good sniper would do it Unless they are trying to take a specific target out in one shot with uh, perhaps even if the heavy has an overheal, that's when you want to charge. But even with a stock sniper rifle, you can argue that you know having a full charge takes too long. And then of course the bizarre bargain adds an additional 20% to that, so that doesn't help either. But, you know, damage wise or ammo wise or tracer rifle wise, there's no difference between the stock sniper rifle or the bizarre bargain. They are basically the same weapon besides for the charge rate of course and the charge rate for the bizarre bargain without any heads and if you are wondering where my head counter is it's just above my ammo it's basically almost five and a half seconds to be exact it's 5.26 seconds but let's be honest those 2.6 are not really going to be a major difference so it is fairly slow, but then again, 20% is kind of a big deal when you are trying to specifically, you know, charge your entire shut up for to full to potentially kill a completely overhealed heavy. But if you have 7 heads, which is the cap, the cap of the Bizarre Bargain is at 7, so you end up with 50% increased charge rate in comparison to the stock sniper rifle is 1.3 seconds which is insanely fast but that's you know that's the good thing about this weapon but at the same time how often do you get seven headshots in a row you know what i mean it doesn't really happen all that often so first you have to get two headshots to even out the penalty that you have to make it the equivalent of the stock sniper rifle that takes two headshots in a row if you have a third headshot after that you suddenly have a better weapon but then if you lose a head you are back to normal and if you start losing more heads you are worse off so you have to think by yourself do you really get that many headshots in a row consecutively that you can actually claim this weapon to be better for you because it, it forces you to be you know it forces you to constantly headshot or at least have at least two heads most of the time, no three hats most of the time to be an actual better weapon. Two just evens it out. If you are constantly at two headshots, you're better off to just get the stock sniper rifle. So it is a very, a very uh, weapon that only gets good when you are fairly skilled. But if you are then going to use it against people that are better than you, or people that know how to counter a sniper, or people that just know what they're, you know, what they're doing in general. They will not be making it easy for you. They're not going to stand still. They're not going to just let you be. They're going to try to take you out or make your shots twitch by shooting at you or make forcing you to move if you don't want to die. Which is basically, you know, something you have to take into consideration. This is why it's so important to constantly keep moving as a sniper. So, the best thing about this though, that I believe a long time ago the Bizarre Bargain was actually a little bit different. Uh, I think it used to be the fact that every shot you took that wasn't a headshot, regardless of being scoped in or not, used to remove a headshot uh, of your headshot counter. Now, don't quote me that, I believe it used to be like that, but these days it is only while you're scoped in, and that is basically what matters. So even if my previous point was wrong, 
no, it doesn't matter because this is how it is right now. And I think it's kind of, I, I think it's kind of neat because it still allows you to body shot while you're not scoped in, which is something I tend to do. While suddenly I find myself into a position when I find a scout in front of me, or you know, a, a soldier suddenly comes down, or a demo suddenly says hello into my face. And, you know, in a reflex, I tend to then shoot him with my sniper rifle before I can actually switch to my SMG, which is the weapon I tend to do, uh, or at least tend to use when people really get close to me, especially scouts and such. But that's besides the point for this specific video. So, why would you then pick this weapon? Because it's definitely not better, and even if you can get it better to a point, that happens so rarely to make it that much better than the stock sniper rifle. That it's just not worth your time and effort. So why would you use this weapon? I think it's the entire satisfying factor of being able to build up your heads. Same thing with the Islander. This is basically the sniper equivalent for uh, you know uh, for the Islander, without the speed and the health, of course, which would have been very interesting to see if a sniper actually had speed and health. But that's potentially something else. But it's, it's, it's just the, the factor of satisfaction of being able to get three headshots or more even in a row and actually being paid off or at least being getting something in return for being able to achieve that because you know my record of headshots in a row rely you know lies somewhere in the five to seven before I died consecutively and that's not even that's almost the cap because the seven is the cap and I think I've got it in, like I said five somewhere between five and seven so I almost got there to the end but I was using the stock sniper rifle and I also find the stock sniper rifle sounds a bit better and looks a bit cleaner I think so that might also be a little bit personal preference so I don't know it's 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 definitely a weapon you want to be using if you are t really trying to get into the sniper class even though I do appreciate that this weapon promotes headshots in the sense that it doesn't you know it it makes you want to get headshots more often but at the same time that puts you at a disadvantage because during this gameplay you may have seen that my shots may be a bit off sometimes to put it lightly especially against positions where I should have just hit a person and that's because I did not want to lose my head at the time or I wanted to get the headshot counter up and I start to overthink things and that's really bad because I start to work against my muscle memory I start against against my uh, I start to work against my intuition or my instinct and that's just bad news and that's also something I don't like about this weapon because it, it forces me to think too much where if I were to just take my shot and just try again real quickly afterwards you would have had more success regardless. So it, it's a blade that cuts both ways, or a gun that shoots both ways, I should potentially say, but let me know what you think about the bizarre bargain. Do you prefer to use it? Do you think it's only the satisfying factor that I find where why this weapon is being used by other people? And make sure to stay subscribed for more content, of course, and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.